Many vintage domestic vehicles use dual filament bulbs to allow the rear brake and turn signals to function through a single wire. This means the 1157 bulb allows those vehicles to have one wire to handle the right rear turn signal and brake feed and another single wire for the lights on the left side of the vehicle. Our vehicle specific classic update kits follow the same design as do our universal systems. Some European vehicles use separate wires for the brake and turn feeds, which means there is some minor modification required if you're installing a universal kit in a car with single filament signal bulbs and separate brake feeds. This type of configuration will use a single 1156 style bulb for the turn signals and an 1157 style dual filament bulb for the brake light and tail lights. The first step to making this type of lighting work correctly with an American Auto Wire Universal Kit is to remove the white brake switch wire on the dash side of the turn signal switch connection. This wire is no longer needed and should be removed from the brake switch connection as well. Be sure to watch our terminal removal video for assistance. The blue third brake light wire can now be used to power the vehicle's brake lights through a dual filament 1157 style bulb. This wire is a direct feed from the brake switch. The high filament on the bulb should be connected to the third brake light feed. And the low filament should be connected to the brown rear running light feed. Once these changes have been made, the left and right rear turn feeds can be connected to a single filament 1156 type bulb. This will ensure the separate feeds for the right and left rear turn signals operate independently based on the position of the turn signal lever. In addition to following us on YouTube, please check us out on Facebook, Carbuff Network, Instagram, and AmericanAutoWire.com.